again, this is Chrissy here with your fourth installment of consumer awareness as a part of the Return and Reunion curriculum. So we talked just recently about the savings options with regard to emergency fund, reserve fund, and the goal getting fund. The other thing that I just want to throw in here is that it can be very um, enticing sometimes to use our credit card or with a high credit card balance for the emergency fund and or a reserve fund or a goal getter fund. So um, for example, it's, it might sound really nice after this pandemic is over to just take our family on a vacation, get all of those plane tickets, all of those hotel rooms, um, just rack up those charges on the credit card or an emergency needing to use a lump sum to pay for items that we need. The problem is that during an emergency situation or after the fun is over, after going on vacation, um, that regular payment on a credit card can be difficult to pay down if we haven't budgeted for it regularly. And we will then be paying interest on that credit card or on, on that credit card that we have used for an emergency or for fun. Um, and that's not always the best way. It's much easier to just pay that off in lump sum and then worry about our regularly tracked expenses. So even having just a little emergency fund that's even so small as just a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars can really help when we have an emergency um, later in the future and can make us feel more padded when we have some uncertainty going on in our lives like we do right now, okay? Tracking your expenditures, again, is not super sexy and super fun. However, it's really important for understanding where your money goes each month and to making yourself feel more financially stable. One of the courses that Fleet and Family offers is called the Million Dollar Sailor, and that actually has a proven success rate where they have shown sailors that have been able to implement the strategies that have been taught and have come out to retirement with quite a bit of money um, in savings. So checking, for example, what you spend each month on takeout or restaurants or some fun activities, um, that might be a really great way to pay down some expenses. Sometimes you would be shocked to see how much you can spend on clothing or uh, a night out of the club or just coffee every other day at Starbucks. So those little expenses can add up over time. So it's a good idea to track those to know generally where you are standing. Some banks even have this. If you use uh, the same credit card or a debit card, they'll be able to track where your expenses go and give you a general idea of how much you are spending each month. We all have our, um, our things that we spend too much, much money on. I actually, my grocery bill every month is super high, um, but I have a family of five. So we use a lot of our money on groceries. It would be a lot more, however, if we ordered takeout for each meal. So that's just one of the ways we can spend, uh, use our money wisely in, in the areas we want to use it on. Um, and the other thing that's really important is taking advantage of TSP. TSP is a great way, the thrift savings plan. If you don't know how that works, I would suggest you reach out to your command financial specialist or to Fleet and Family. We have whole courses on that. Um, but that's a good way for you to come out into retirement with quite a bit of savings and some ways that you can use that tax-free. So the next thing we want to talk about is understanding what, um, how your insurance works. So all of you as active duty service members have um, TRICARE coverage. Um, your, co your expenses are covered and then understand how your dependents TRICARE coverage works as well. So I, for example, when I checked into San Diego with my active duty service member, myself and our children were, they did not have the capability to have our children seen by Navy doctors or by um, active duty service doctors. So we were then given prime coverage out in town. So we are covered out in town under prime for the civilian doctor that we chose that is under the TRICARE branch that will accept TRICARE. Um, now, Select has some better options, but you might be paying a copay. So understand what your coverage is and how it works. And then you can also look at not incurring expenses if you use it in um, the smart way. Don't um, be afraid to ask. If you get a bill for something that you don't understand, don't pay it um, immediately until you have called and make sure it's covered. I've had that happen before. 
Um, you should pay it if it's not covered, of course. Um, but I have gotten a bill for an urgent care visit when that was completely covered. It was just an error in the urgent care office billing department. It's easily fixed, um, but make sure that you understand what your coverage is and how you can get the best coverage for as little cost as possible to you. Know about your um, SGLI and the FSGLI. Um, your SGLI should cover about 400,000 maximum in the event of a service member debt. And then the FSGLI will cover spouses um, for about 100,000 and then about 10,000 for children. Um, so know what's available to you for that. Do not deny it. Unfortunately, we have had situations where service members have passed away and denied SGLI coverage because of the small amount of money that was taken out of their paycheck each month. So we wanna make sure we have that available to us. If you wanna purchase additional insurance, that might be a good idea as well. Um, consider what your monthly expenses are and how much your family members depend on you. And then you might wanna purchase additional life insurance. Um, and renter's insurance is really important. So if you live anywhere where you pay rent, you won't have access to homeowner's insurance, but you do have access to renter's insurance. And that can cover all of the little things like uh, heirloom items, to like your mountain bikes, to the clothing that you have, furniture. So make sure you have that covered. And then also consider when you PCS, what items you move personally, whether they can be covered under your renter's insurance or possibly even under your car insurance if they're in your vehicle. So that's something to think about as well. Because moving with items across the country, so from me in San Diego, if I moved to Florida, I would probably have to stop several times and I would probably have several items in my car that could be broken into and stolen and sold pretty quickly. Like thinking like tools, clothing, heirloom items, um, all of those are ways that service members can get ripped off. Um, and then checking your credit report regularly so that you can pay down and pay a lower interest insurance rate if your credit score is um, something that you can leverage, all right? So hopefully that gave you some idea of some of the uh, ways that service members can experience issues when coming back from deployment. Um, Hopefully all of you have had an opportunity to save a lot during deployment and you should celebrate in a way that um, that would be fun for you. You might not have the option to celebrate in the way that you normally do. And most of us are going through that right now with the global pandemic and coronavirus. So consider some ways that you can enjoy yourself, but also make sure you're making those smart financial decisions. Um, remember that every time you make a purchase online, that there is an opportunity for someone to use that information. So make sure you're regularly making smart financial decisions to protect yourself, okay? It's been a pleasure talking to you. Good luck to you and coming home off of your deployment. Fleet and family will be here for you. And if we are not seeing clients in person, we will find a service virtually that will work for you. This is our centralized scheduling number. And we are holding regular office hours. So if you need to reach out to someone by phone or email, we will be available to you. So best of luck to you. We look forward to seeing all of your wonderful smiling faces um, very soon. So congratulations. Bye.